With titles like Mr. Dress Up, Seamstress, and Retrospection, the Milton Film Festival has presented a wide genre of movies over many years. Its first showing was in 2014, but now, in 2024, it's preparing to host what could be the final event. A myriad of factors has pushed the festival to the financial edge, among them changing viewing habits because of the pandemic. As people turn to streaming options, attendance in the theatre has fallen. Pre-COVID, it was about 2,000 people over the weekend of screenings, but in January this year, it was only about 750. It all means that the current venue at the First Ontario Arts Centre is no longer suitable. The Arts Centre is wonderful, but there needs to be more than one venue for performing arts and, and cinema arts in Milton. In addition to that, the film festival has also noted another factor in its decision, ticketing fees that it says have more than doubled since 2020. We've been experiencing inflationary costs as well, and we have to try and strike a balance between uh, being fair in what we charge our users, but also being fiscally responsible. And in particular on our ticketing fees, uh, we didn't increase our fees from 2019 to 2024. And so this year we brought in a $1 increase uh, to those fees because, we, again, we needed to catch up on some of the, the pressures we were feeling on the cost side. We have sought opportunities to address some of the concerns that we've had, um, including you know, how expensive it is to undertake this film festival at the uh, First Ontario Arts Centre. Uh, we have uh, done outreach with community members and town and council on this work. We have not gone very far on it because before this time we were financially viable. At the moment, all that remains are some screenings planned for later this year. Funding for that programming is coming from the Milton Community Fund, which has supported the festival with about $40,000 in grants since its inception. This year in particular, in 2024, they were awarded roughly $4,000 and they're going to use that, I believe, to, which is great, to continue to put on some single showing films at uh, Country Heritage Park, of which they're using those funds to, to do. And we're happy to continue to support that. Afterwards, the festival will be on hiatus, according to its board of directors, with an uncertain future. Our plan is to come back um, in a year or two um, with funding in place to then, you know, showcase the arts and cultural aspect of our town of Milton and to promote local filmmakers as well as international films that we think will have an audience here uh, in Milton. I really hope that this isn't the end. I think that there needs to be a, a festival like this for Milton. Um, but, you know, if it turns out that it's not to be, then it, it's, it was a good way to go out. Jason Trout for Halton News in Milton.